So hello and welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles today. Today we're going to be looking at this and this is the new Euro 5 LXR SE125. So just a quick look around the bike. Now I'm going to get up close and personal and have a ride test on this shortly. Just looking at that front end, very, very aggressive with those Hawk lights to the front. Badging down the side with the Lextec LXR SE and then down the bottom the white flash with the SE logo there. You've got your stainless system on this one with that stainless can to the rear. Nice height, tail tidy, LED indicators all round and LED stop lights on this one. Nice high passenger peck if you want to go two up. And then just going down the other side of the bike, the LXR SE, the Lextech logo. And this has just the red and white flash so you've not got the LXR SE to the left hand side of the bike. The one thing I do like about this is turning it on. Just check out that LED display on that, that is absolutely gorgeous. And you have two different options on this one to actually bring up your miles. Your revs come up to the right or you can have it in the second mode as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to get this one out, we're going to get it into traffic and see what she rides like. And obviously having a quick look at that dash, you've got your water temperature, your fuel, your charging voltage, miles per hour and a gear indicator and then the revs pop up round the left hand side. Absolutely love the display on this, very very well thought out and set up on this. Now the mirrors, I have literally about an eighth of my shoulder in the mirrors, but you can set these mirrors up quite wide and get yourself a decent view of the road behind. Low speed handling, just feathering it on the clutch and it's not bad at that low speed handling as well, so it does corner very very well on those slow speeds and just sitting it in second gear as we pull out going to get it out onto the road and give it a ride test so the new Euro 5 bikes are out we've already got the LXRs and the LXSs that we have sold already and obviously we've now got two SEs in stock and this one has already sold so literally one left in stock at the moment but just working through the box now everybody has said is it a five or a six speed box and I can put your thoughts to rest by looking down at that display changing up into the very top gear it has a six speed box and a lot of people on the rumors are saying oh the LXR SE has only got a five speed box this has a six speed box now obviously for the purposes of ride testing this is a brand new bike with just two miles on the clock we're not going to exceed 45 mile an hour but obviously once these are run in and the tech data does say around about 69.70 and according to the people that have already bought them and done their services and already gone past their second service yes they are getting that speed out of these bikes coming in on the brakes braking is absolutely spot on and it is combined braking as it is on all of the new bikes now but just leaning it over nice and gentle we are on fresh rubber so I'm taking my time on this one especially with just two miles on the tyres but even with two miles on the tyres it corners exactly where I want it I've got a nice visual display in front of me of all my functions so indicators, main beam, everything is all on that digital dash and very very easy to see what is going on absolutely spot on now the riding position and I'm quite surprised that the peg position is just set back slightly exactly as it is on the um, LXRs and as a bigger rider this is very very comfortable my knees are actually tucked into the groove of the tank and exactly where they should be so I've got a beautiful knee position on this hands now I'm bolt upright, um, but there isn't too much ache on the hands. The bars are quite set quite high on these LXRs, but if I needed to, I can get myself against the seat, crouch myself down, tuck my arms in, and yes, I can get myself down onto that tank if I need to. Now I'm going to come in on the front brake this time, so clutch in, just coming down through the box, changing down on the box, and that box is absolutely smooth. And my usual through the tunnel, the obligatory rev bomb. What does she sound like? She's 
got a brat, but she's not too noisy. But through the corners, it handles absolutely spot on. Now, obviously, these are a little bit money, a bit more money for the new SEs. These retail at two nine 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 ninety nine. So basically a penny under the 3k mark. And for the money, do I think it's a good bike? Hell yes! When you consider a uh, big bike brand, and they are putting out the same equivalent of these bikes for about uh, four and a half, five k Would I purchase one of these if I had money in the bank? Yes. And I always do my reach score, so rideability, absolutely spot on. And I'm going to give this one 10 compared to what I gave the LXS. I gave the LXS a 9. Just for the simple fact is I'm a lot more comfortable riding this than I was the LXS. And as a bigger rider, I was cramped in the legs riding the LXS, but it is a personal opinion. I would always say try a bike out for size, see how big it is for you once you've sat on it. Are you going to get your feet flat-footed to the floor? Check a bike before you buy. Economy. Now the economy, any 125 is going to be hitting at near that 100 mile per gallon. Some of them are reckon it's around about 75 to 80, but it's not that bad on the economy. Affordability, yes it is 3k. That's nice to see you jumping in there with no indicators, a typical young Corsa driver. Affordability, yes it's 3k plus you're on the road fees. But when you consider it against some of the big bike brands, and I'm obviously not going to name them, you're going to be paying a lot more. And obviously you're backed up with that two-year warranty. Comfort. Can't fault it. It is a very, very comfortable bike to ride, and it would be something great for your weekend commute, or just getting out for the weekends and having a blip around those long rides with your friends. Handling, it's an LXR. As I always say, and a lot of people uh, tend to have a dig about the tyres on these. Ooh, I wouldn't trust a nylon tyre in any circumstances. I never have a problem with riding in the nylon tyres, especially in the wet weather as well. And I've ridden a lot of Lex Motos in wet weather and adjusting my uh, riding style to the road conditions. So I've never had an issue where I've lost traction on the back end. And I do come in hot a little bit sometimes on the roundabouts and corners, and I've never had a problem. But if in doubt, swap the tyres out. That's why I say, if in doubt, swap the tyres out and go for a good brand. But I've never had a problem on the tyres, so handling, I've never had an issue with them. Some people do, it's like, oh yeah, my, my, I've unseated myself. Um, and it's normally down to uh, rider inexperience, target fixation or just riding out of the conditions or riding out of your ability of the bike. Always ride within your limits. Never never overstretch yourselves, guys. That is a simple fact. Yes, you can become a cropper if you push yourself a little bit too hard. And obviously, new rider, you do want to go a little bit faster. So, I'm going to rate this LXR SE 50 out of 50. I absolutely love it. Yes, as a brand new bike, this is the business. And especially in this colour scheme that the SE has launched out, it looks absolutely superb. And then on just to the, uh, the final bit, just to mention if you are interested in a Lex Moto and you're near to the Buckinghamshire area, then the place to go is Eclipse Motorcycles and the link is up down the bottom right of the screen that is www.eclipsemotorcyclesmk.co.uk link is in there and you can find the email should you want to uh, email the guys easiest way is to pick up the phone and give them a call and the telephone number is down there as well 01908 643 603 speak to the bike sales team and we've got a lot of bikes coming out from Lexmoto in the next couple of weeks, so keep an eye on our Facebook page. Just look for Eclipse Motorcycles, or you can follow mine, which is Rev Bomb, and you can find me on Facebook, and you can also find me on the YouTube. That's one of our customers, that's Vincent. 
easiest way to find everything is off my page which is revbomb.co.uk go and look on the web link final page is the social media page and uh, you can see all the details of all the, uh, the Facebooks, the Instagrams, YouTubes, the Twitters and the garages on there as well thumbs up if you enjoyed it, comments down the bottom and until the next time when we are out test riding another bike from myself, be well, ride safe and from RB on the Alexar SE have a good one, enjoy the weekend and from myself until the next time, it's a big goodbye from me.